Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on factorising quadratics of the form ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared. So we want to factorise this expression 2a squared minus 5ab minus 3b squared. And remember to factorise just means to get it into brackets. Now when you have a mixture of a and b like this or x and y for example, two different variables and one variable, the a, you've got the a squared and mixed with b, without the squared. And then the other variable, the b here, you've got the b squared and mixed with a, without the squared. When you have it in this form, one way of doing this is to just rewrite it as a kind of normal quadratic. So with this, if we wrote it as 2x squared minus, I'm going to use the same number in the front, the 5, but I'm just going to replace this with x and then minus 3 without any variable at all, this looks more like a conventional quadratic. So something x squared plus or minus something x plus a constant, a term without the x. Now, this is kind of magic at the moment. This is not comparable to this in some ways. Like you can't sort of make x a, because if then x was a, you wouldn't have a b there. But once we factorize this, we're going to make a correction to this to get a factorization which would expand to give that. So let's just deal with this first. And we can factorise in a normal way. You can look at my videos, how you factorise quadratics with a number in front of the x squared. I'm just going to do it the quick way of intelligently guessing the brackets. So this times this would have to give the 2x squared. That's going to be 2x and x. 2x times x is x squared. And also this constant here times this constant here in the brackets, they have to times to give minus three. Now the numbers have to be one and three, but which way round they go and which one is gonna be positive and which one is gonna be negative. Well, we need to get sort of like five. So I think the three is gonna to have to go here because that gets you to six and then you're kind of one off the five. So the one is gonna go there. Now we wanna get minus five X. So if I make this negative, that gives you minus six X, which is close, and then add one X and that would work. So that's the factorization. And as I say, if you're not familiar with factorizing a quadratic like this, please view my video on that first. So two X squared minus five X minus three factorizes to this, but we've got two A squared minus five AB minus three B squared. So let's think how we factorise this in a way that's going to be very similar to this factorisation here. Now we want to get 2a squared, so it's going to be like 2a and a in a similar way. And also we want to get minus 3b squared. So using these numbers here of 1 and minus 3, it could be plus 1b and minus 3b. Because you can see, look, now the 2a times the a, that's going to give you the a squared and the expansion. The b times the minus 3b will give you the minus 3b squared in the expansion. And actually, if you look at the other things in expansion, you will actually get the minus 5ab. So you can see we're going to get b times a, which is ab. We're also going to get minus 6ab. ab minus 6ab will be minus 5ab. So it works. So just to reiterate the process, just rewrite this quadratic-like expression to a more conventional quadratic that we know how to factorise, and then basically update the brackets so these brackets would expand to give the correct uh, original expression, but reusing the same numbers. The 2 there is the same as there. The 1 here is the same as the 1 in front of the b. The 1 in front of the x is the same as the 1 here, and the minus 3 is the same as the minus 3 here.